What's up guys? The Tanker here and I am going to tackle Tomb Raider. Um, I've played it in the past and I only recently got Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I want to play, uh, but as kind of like a refresher to the universe, um, I wanted to retackle this game. This one, I am going to go kind of quickly through the story and stuff, just because, like I said, I have played it before. When so, life I am us. familiar with the storyline enough that I'm not worried you about all of the something. story stuff. So we're going to skip through those. Um, something that keeps I'm going to try and get at least two or three episodes of this every week until we get through it and then start on the next Tomb Raider. Um, I'll try and stick with two or three episodes of that, but the progress might be a bit slower just because we're going to... Do the, cinema, uh, the cinematic things, uh, the little random scenes for the story, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's go ahead and get jumped into this. little bitches. There, because that, that works for either sex, right? Wakey, wakey. Dead bodies over there. Boom. Get over there. Got to get down. Oh my god. Laura, stop screaming. You're not doing anybody any favors. There we go. Side to side. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Hey, I just said that. Hope she didn't need her kidney for anything. That would be painful. That would be bad. That would be so bad. Get all disoriented. Pretty awesome, Laura. Oh god. No. No. This is pretty messed up. What hey, look! To you? They're worshiping uh, Spy from the White Spy from Spy vs. Spy. Almost. Oh, that's great. I thought it was great. All right, sorry about that. Had to change the setting really quick. So, <clears throat> here we go. Let's go, Laura. A torch. Oh, yeah, a torch. That's a good idea. Thanks, Laura. I appreciate it. All right, all right, here we go. It's like this bitch. Uh, fire. Oh, come on. 
Come on, let me go through there. I hear bad guys. Oh, no, oh, Alright, so... Um, remembering how difficult this game can be, I think it might be nice if I go ahead and uh, keep track of how many times Laura dies. Or I die with Laura. So uh, after the first death, I'll put that on screen somewhere and I'll include it throughout the series while we do this game. Uh, see if we can see if we can keep track and see what we come up with. There's, there's some pretty brutal paths. Maybe I'll actually go ahead and... and uh, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get off ah, me. get off me, bitch. Ah. Yeah, what? You're trapped now, motherfucker. Oh, that was close. Oh shit, that was close. Uh, I'll take some notes on the deaths and keep track of how many times she's killed by bullets, arrows, fire. I think that might be fun. And, uh, we can put a kill count after the episodes that she died in. That'd be, that'd be kind of interesting little thing to, to include there. Hey Laura, how does it feel to be covered in everybody's feces? That looks like a water. Anyway. I remember this. I remember this. Alright, so I go here. And oh where's the fire? Where's the fire that I need? Alright. So go up there. I light these on fire. And that'll make oh. Alright, yeah, I examined it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Laura, Laura, Laura. It's not quicksand. Calm down. Alright, so I light these on fire, and this thing will drop, while this thing will go up, allowing that other basket over there to drop. That's going to get some yuck in it, all this stuff, and then I'll be able to uh, bring it up, it'll drop the flammable debris in that cave, which will let me light it on fire, and then uh, I'll be able to knock the debris down there into that and explode it. Because Laura likes destruction. But you know what's crazy? She just made a jump on us in a, I don't know, six foot gap, grabbed on with her hands, and pulled herself up. All while she's sitting here holding on to her punctured kick. If that's not gangster, I don't even know what it is. Alright, here we go. Quick, quick, boom. I like, I like how she leaps from behind the cave, she jumps in the water and hides behind a two by two. She hides behind a small piece of wood that was already hiding behind that cave. Oh, not that way. Come on, Laura. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we're falling. Slide, slide. Avoid the debris, avoid the debris. Didn't avoid that debris. Come on, and jump! Jump better, Laura. And jump! Here we go. I think... I think they could have Laura win in the Oh, kick, 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 kick. Oh, oh, kick right there. Yeah, motherfucker. Ha! Now you die. Yes! Squash your fucking head. Oh, I see the light. I see the light, Laura. Keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't try and grab the torch. Fuck the torch. Here we go. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, avoid the debris. Here we go. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Come on, Laura. Come on. Whoa. The other way. Keep going. Here we go. Come on. And we're good. Oh. 
<sighs> and now she can relax. Now that she's back out in the open, in the wild. Look how much shit she's covered in. I mean, like, it looks like it's literally doo-doo. Nice, big, scary island. Nothing to be afraid of. You think this would be the kind of island that would be, like, on a map? On every map? To be avoided? This game is so gorgeous, graphically speaking. I love it. Absolutely love it. There ain't no time to rest. Get up. The lifeboat. Yes, that is a lifeboat. You're talking too much. Let's skip it. Alright, so we're tracing some other survivors. Huh. It said others and survivors while she's on a deserted island, just like on Lost. Okay. I wonder if she's going to check the slow. manifest. I think those are all lost references, but I haven't actually seen the show. So, uh... Oh, if I'm off on that, my bad. This is... This is so good looking that it's actually a little disoriented. Okay. Come on, Laura. You got a lot more moving to do, lady. And jump! Stop holding onto your kidney. Start climbing. It's a lot of boats. Alright, now look at this. There's a downed World War II bomber. And her thought here is to climb it to get across that gap. Her first thought isn't, let me see if there's a way to climb down back there, maybe I missed something and I can climb down. Her first thought is literally, I can do this. I can do this. Let's go climb the fucking down plane in order to get across the gap. I mean, it's ballsy, but it's not the first thing anybody thinks of. There we go. Ah! Alright, move your ass, move your ass. You just made that plane come down. So it's been sitting there for 60 years. You, you'd have to imagine that there would have been hurricanes and all sorts of stuff that would have happened throughout all this, right? Just wind alone can knock a plane out of the sky. So why would 110 pounds of, of chick, of, of hot chick, knock a plane down that's been sitting for 60 years already? I mean, it's a little bit of a stretch, I think. Sam's pack. Oh, way to be cautious there, Laura. Didn't even try climbing down or anything. Sam! Freaking women, man. They must have come this way. Yep, all right, well, let's go ahead and skip that. Stop talking. All right, I found a two-way radio. One second. Okay, I'm back. I want to do, uh, move the camera. You guys, uh, turn off, well, hide the FPS because that just takes away. Oh, shit. That just takes away. Oh, that was a hardcore flip. Ow. It just kind of takes away from the beauty of the game, I think. So I, I made the uh, camera smaller, let you guys see more of the screen. Um, let me know what you guys think about including the cam in the episodes. If you guys would prefer to not see it, or if you guys enjoy it. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think on this. I might need to change the cam location just so that I'm not like looking down at my monitor and having to look up at you guys. Uh, so just let me let me know what you think. Oh. Sorry, adjusting my chair. Oh. There we go. All right, yeah, radio, radio, blah, blah, blah.
Here's the oh. soon to be world she's looking famous at the archaeologist. Corner. Let's just Lara go ahead Croft. and stop that right there. And Laura Croft has been famous for like 20 something years. So, you know. Do you I guys remember Laura Croft on PlayStation? I've got to find something to eat. I remember playing a uh I don't remember what game we bought, but we bought a game, and we got a demo disc for Laura, and uh, I replayed the fuck out of those oh, demo God. missions. What's going on here? Like, replayed Wait. like crazy. I can use that bow. So, uh, one of them, I remember having to do all sorts of, like, scaling walls and climbing and back and forth and go across this gap. And when you get to the end of this thing, and it might have been on one of the full versions of the game, it might have been on the demo, I don't remember. But there ended up being like a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex I could do this. that comes out of nowhere and starts chasing your ass, and it's like, the fuck? And I'm really glad they, they decided to get away from the classic uh, oh! blue tank top, you know, that, that particular shade of blue, and those tiny shorts. Like, I don't mind it, but it's it's kind of unrealistic, and I like that they're making this a more Let's see if this thing still works. enjoyable, realistic, remember, loving training. world kind of you thing. You can have the best form you know, they're the making it. They're making it great. It won't mean a thing if you can't focus. Uh, and I hear that they're getting ready to make a movie. Um, for anybody who might watch this in the future, so this is uh, uh, the end of March of 2016, and supposedly they are in the process of working on a movie that we may see here in the next, I don't know, two years, maybe? Um, but the guy that was talking about the movie, he said rather than the old movies with uh, Angelina Jolie, which... I personally, I didn't dig those very much. I thought that it was kind of, I thought it was kind of a crappy run at the Lara Croft universe. You know, it felt like, it felt like they didn't treat it proper. You know, they made it way too much about Angelina Jolie and her body and not enough about the essence of Laura Croft. You know, and they kind of made her a little too much of an architect and too badass for the randomness involved there. Hey, there's one of those things. Alright, yeah, I'll find more of those, sure. Alright, what else? We got some arrows here. We need to kill some deer. Oh, up. Here we go. So yeah, it's kind of exciting to see what they might do with the universe hmm. in a, with a movie. Some kind of container. Now, who left these behind? What's interesting is okay. So the girl that does the voice of this Laura in the game, I don't remember the actress's name. I'm, I may look it up to mention it on the next one. Um, she's a, she's an actress on Grey's Anatomy, and she did a part on uh, Californication with David Duchovny. Um, she's actually British something, and, um, oh, shit, I missed. One, two, three, got it. Uh, she's British of some sort, so her natural voice is pretty much, you know, the Laura Croft voice, or what it should be. And on Grey's Anatomy, she's American, but the girl... Actually Sorry. kind of looks like Laura Croft like like if she dressed the part She'd be pretty close now for the game. They had one actress. That was the physical uh, The body actor for it, you know, she wore the suit she did the the movements for them to record and and um, Do the CG over top of that kind of stuff um, Right back to camp. So, you know, that's all that's all cool and all, but uh, all right, they had this other girl. You won't always voice. have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can and learn to I read think the that land that girl and the stars, could play you'll it always off. be able to find your way She's home. She's not quite as petite as Laura Croft, the you know the character that we've seen for you know a couple decades, but I think she could pull it off. Um, I 
I am a believer that she could handle it. Oh, there's a bush. All right, got the bush. I think there's more arrows out here somewhere, but I'm thinking, oh, hello. Boom, right in the back of the dome. Uh, what you know about brain matter? Gray matter, brain matter, gray matter. That's the right one. Bra I guess brain matter might. No, I think it's just gray matter. I don't think brain matter is a, I don't think that's a thing. Not, well, not a thing that people actually say. Maybe it is. How about, how about brain bits? Can I scavenge your body? Nice. And you're just a crow. Do I get extra points if I shoot a crow out of the air? Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Maybe later, after I've gotten some practice with the bow. Alright, let's go ahead and head back up to the camp. And spend our first point. Is there any more of the danglies, though? The uh, skeleton face danglies? I'm not seeing any. Right, let's get back up here. Come on, Lara. Campsite. I am. I, I, I haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider yet, so I'm really hoping that they did something better with the. Uh, an enemy or animal killed with the bow to retrieve arrows. Yeah, I want to get my arrows back. Um, I'm not a fan at all of their menu situation here. This uh, is Conrad I think Roth, that they could have done it a lot better. We are I don't think it functions island, very well, so I'm hoping triangle. that when I actually alive. get to sit down and easy, play the other easy. one, that okay? it will be better. What we'll, we'll see when we get there. Alright. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and call this episode right here. Let's go ahead and call it. Um, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Music. I vastly appreciate it. Um, we will investigate the music on the next episode. I will. Uh, I will try and get up three of these a week. I think probably try and do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, should also in the near future be starting a playthrough of the Walking Dead series by Telltale. Um, since season three is right around the corner and they started the Michonne episodes. Um, but I want to replay because I had a old account then that I give to my brother. So I don't have that account that had The Walking Dead on it. So, yeah, uh, going to play through that sometime in the near future. And um, my friend's begging me to try and get back on the division and finally hit max level so that I can play with him so I may be putting up some gameplay from the division soon so uh, yeah and if you haven't checked it out you really should I have a uh, machinima style series called fight to survive the dead uh, it is shot using H1Z1 and multiple characters I do voice acting for the main character I've got a friend of mine who streams who uh, she's a twitch streamer she does the secondary character that we just introduced in the last episode. Um, so check out my videos and go check out Fight to Survive the Dead. I think you guys will probably enjoy it if you've ever liked any zombie related anything. Zombie series. Um, we're doing our best. We're, we're new to voiceover. I'm new to writing and, and uh, voice acting and all of that. Never had any schooling on it. So it's interesting and it's new. But... Anyway, you should check it out. I appreciate you guys coming around. I really do. Uh, I hope to. I hope you guys uh, check out the next episodes also and check out some of my other stuff. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, or not. It's up to you. Whatever's clever. And uh, let me know uh, what you think of the camera and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.